lads, welcome back to Coyote Racing, and one of these videos where I sit and talk at the camera again. And just before we get into today's subject, I know I'm very, very behind on this subject. Like, Chris, Gamer Muscle, they've all talked about this massive thing that's uh, came out recently from Fanatec. Well, coming out. So I know I'm very late to the, uh, the subject, but I actually did have a lot to say about this. So as most of you probably already know, Fanatec announced one of the most groundbreaking releases to ever make it into the sim racing community. And what could it be other than the BMW M4 GT3 steering wheel. Now for those who don't know, and are probably wondering what the hell I'm actually talking about, well, what makes this wheel so special? I'll tell you, this wheel is being developed in collaboration directly from BMW, which doesn't sound too surprising on its own because Fanatec have done this before in the past where they've made a replica of the Porsche 911 GT3 R rim, which I happen to own. And because it's Fanatec, the design of it and the build quality of it is flawless, to be to be frank with you, I haven't had a problem with it. Only issue that some people have been having uh, with the button caps, they break very easily. And on a quick side note to this video, if you are serious about purchasing the GT3 Porsche rim, um, then please do go for the leather one. This is the Alcantara one, and as you can see from the hand grips, it has worn beyond belief. And I know Alcantara is a bit more authentic, but this is sim racing. You want something that's going to last and stay pretty so get the leather one. And if you've already made the purchase from Fanatec with the Alcantara, then don't worry, they actually sell the base rim all by itself for about 150 euro. Anyway, back to the BMW collaboration with Fanatec. So even though this isn't a particularly new thing with a car manufacturer collaborating with a sim racing company, what is groundbreaking is what this wheel is about. Because unlike the Porsche GT3 rim that we've just looked at, this is not a replica, as it actually says on the website. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This wheel that you can buy from Fanatec not only will work on your sim rig at home, but it will work in the real life GT3 BMW M4 car. Now, I don't even need to explain how huge that is. This hasn't really been done before. Well, kinda. The closest thing that's been done to this is if you go to BMW headquarters and actually try their in-house racing simulation. Which, uh, that's... That's gonna put a hole in your wallet if you wanted to buy that thing. So this is a huge deal. One, this has never really been done before with car manufacturer collaborations with sim racing companies. And two, sim racing is still a pretty niche thing. If you look back even like two years ago, stuff like this just was not available. Like Fanatec only released their direct drive wheel last year. Direct drive wheels are a rather new thing for regular consumers such as myself. So let's see what Fanatec have got on their website. This is not a replica and there is the wheel itself and might I say what a beauty it is. Now obviously it's not as flashy as the formula rims that you can get from I think it's uh, Cube Gear I think it is. Don't quote me on that name. But that's not what the point of a steering wheel is. I mean, yes, it doesn't have all the buttons and rotary encoders and all sorts of things like that. This is meant to be the real thing for both the sim rig and the car itself. So what you get here is what is going in the car. And to be honest, that's kind of what we want. At the end of the day, we're all really frustrated racing drivers who just simply don't have the funds to go and race around a real circuit with the likes of Nicky Team and Dave Perel, which is why getting as close to the real thing as possible is what we want. But in this case, it's not just close to the real thing, it is the real thing. And there obviously is the BMW M4 GT3 car of which the steering wheel goes into. And I think I'm not the only one who will say that the grill of the new BMW M4 is ridiculous. And BMW just needs to stop with making stupid grills like this. This is the real deal. Nothing is more authentic than this. For the first time in sim racing history, a steering wheel has been developed simultaneously for both real and virtual racing. The fusion of sim racing and motorsport continues at a relentless pace. Now I should point out one thing is like some things when it comes to the real car and the sim wheel do obviously differ ever so slightly. For example, when it comes to the quick release of a wheel, this kind of stuff for sim racing will not pass to go on the real racing car because scrutineers will take one look at that and tell you to 
go away. It's just small stuff like that. That man does not look like he wants to be there. <laughs> But seriously, how real is it? 100% this is the actual steering wheel created for the 2022 BMW M4 GT3 race car. The units used for GT3 racing come off the same production line as the units available for purchase. They are identical in every way. The wheel was specified to BMW Motorsports requirements and developed by Fanatec from the very beginning of the project. Which, if that alone doesn't blow your mind at what has gone into this thing, I don't know what will when it comes to sim racing. <laughs> it's all carbon as well. I honestly cannot wait for this thing to come out. I don't care how much it's going to cost. It's coming home to me. So in case you missed that, here's a simplified version. This wheel has been designed and created and developed alongside BMW for the car and for your sim racing rig, which means while BMW have been developing this with Fanatec, they've also been developing the BMW GT3 car. So in a way, Fanatec, a sim racing company, has had some involvement of putting a piece of the car into the car and it's going to race. That has never been done before. But obviously, the title of this video is what does this mean for the sim racing community? Well, as we all know, this past year has been rough for everybody, which has caused probably one of the biggest explosions in sim racing I have ever seen. Sim racing in the last year has had more growth popularity-wise and development-wise than the past five years of sim racing. And because now BMW have shown their face like that they're collaborating with sim racing companies, that means other companies are going to see this and they're going to think, hmm, I want a piece of that. And more than likely, it's going to create competition between companies such as Thrustmaster and Simicube to get their hands in with another car company to develop something alongside each other. And because of that, all that's going to do is going to make things more and more real and more immersive and better for everybody. Not so much for our wallets, I'll grant you that. However, sim racing is getting more and more real the more it's developed. Look at Ferrari, for example. They collaborated with Kunos Simulaze, the creators of Assetto Corsa, the Ferrari 488 competition only evil. I think that's the name of it. I can't quite remember. And when it came to creating that real racing data went into the simulated car and it shows by the way you drive that car. It is absolutely flawless and you get a real sense when you drive that car of like I'm in the racing car. But now though BMW has done this and this is the furthest anyone has ever gone with sim racing and it's only going to go further and further and further because if we're just waiting on this wheel now i'm really excited to see what comes next companies are going to be pushing hard and there is a reason why fanatec is the leading manufacturer when it comes to sim racing gear it will be amazing if we actually got to the point where all the racing teams and all the car manufacturers and all the sim racing manufacturers got together handed over each other's data and made the closest thing to a perfect simulation that has ever been developed. We're getting there. And trust me, I think it's going to happen eventually. Because with stuff like what BMW is doing, it is very clear to me that the world of sim racing is only just getting started. And trust me, I'm very excited. Also, on a side note, if someone who happens to work at Fanatec uh, sees this video, just a quick ask. Um, could you respond to my emails, please? I would really like to become an affiliate, please. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say for this video. Sorry if this has been a bit of a deviation from the typical me and the boys shenanigans. But as you can probably tell, this whole development of uh, Fanatec and BMW has got me really excited, and I just had to talk about it. But also, sorry at the same time that it took me so long to make this video. If you have enjoyed this episode of Coyote Racing, then feel free to hit that like button. It would help me out a lot, and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell if you would like to see more videos like this, because we do racing, we do goofs, and we do reviews. We do everything sim racing related here. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next race. Have a good night, everybody.